Royce Unchained, presented by Josh Arnold, investment consultant and Mr. Money Talk. So I got to be honest, I didn't know that the Soul Series was the start of the regular season. Yes. So that's a surprise to me. I, I always get annoyed when baseball starts yes. its season at 3 o'clock in the morning, a week before the other games. Yeah, they did that in Japan a few years ago, too, right? A couple mm -hmm. of times they've done that in Japan. It's stupid, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but they uh, they had run into a little problem with it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, well, so so they're paying they're paying a billion dollars to two Japanese players, one of the Dodgers. One of them might have an offshore gambling connection. Runs and made it through one inning, and he was bad in spring training too. He was, yeah. I mean, he was when they pitched down there. But this Otani thing is, uh, you know, I'm I'm not the first wow. guy to mention this, but it was all over Twitter saying Otani. Must have been listening to Chris Carter because he had a fall guy that he was going to use. He always got to have a fall guy, but I don't think this is going to work. I don't think this fall guy is going to work. ESPN's all over this. They were reporting it. What? They were working on it for weeks, right? Or months. Yeah. Months. And, and the fall uh, guy, the translator, sat down for like 90 minutes with ESPN and laid out from his side of the story and then... Shohei's lawyers came in and said, ignore everything he just said. We will have our own statement on mm -hmm. our side. So is it, just to untangle this, Shohei was likely betting on sports, and we're trying to yes. figure out if he was betting on baseball, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's the simplest way to put it. Well, and he wasn't betting well because apparently he's uh, four four point five million in the hole or something. Uh, but, yeah, if he's... Uh, you know what a deal. I mean, uh, it's uh, it's uh, now. Are we still going with it's this guy's? It's the other guy's fault, or are we did we uh, given up on that yet? No, uh, we're trying to. We're trying to try to blame our him. Our goal is to blame the translate later guy who evidently is like brothers with Otani, like they're super close, they're best friends, yeah. And mm -hmm. and so, but yeah, so so we're we're gonna pin the blame on him for now. But unfortunately, by Otani's lawyer stepping in, it actually has has made things worse now because it's gotten more confusing. And it's clearly like the the wire transfers, the two major transfers were in Shohei's name, and he's trying to say, well, I helped my guy out. Yes. I don't think that's gonna stick. Yeah, but that well, well, plus they were trying to say he didn't know it was going on. That was they came so. back and said that. But at first they okay. said he knew and helped his buddy, and then his lawyer's like, no, 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 he was robbed of this money. Mm hmm Yeah. So this guy, his buddy, is uh trying now to take the fall for it, right? But uh probably will not succeed. So uh but that's uh, that's some serious gambling. I mean, I you obviously you're supposedly making seven hundred million. But uh, where was he? Uh, do we have any idea? Was he doing this through some place in Japan, making all these? No, bets California, California bookmaking operation is the Ooh. main place. That's and isn't that's okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it's California. under federal investigation. I think the well, outlet yeah, is under federal investigation. Yes, and yeah. California yeah. is not. It's not. They're like us. They don't Correct. have sports betting, right? Correct. They don't have yeah. sports betting. So, uh, <laughs> well, you know what? They always, he always looked like he was up to something with me. I don't know. It was never. <laughs> oh, it really? Was never, no, I mean, it was never like, he was never, there was not, not enough emotion there. I don't know. Whenever I. Well, whenever someone I made a, him. made a comment on Twitter that like, he's the most boring human supposedly over the last mm -hmm. five or six years. When you ask like, you know, well, you know besides baseball, what are you into? Oh, and he's like, oh, I just out. go home and eat lunch and take naps. Like, no, you've been gambling. That's what you've we, been doing. We only found out he had a wife about 10 minutes ago, too, right? The, 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 it was just revealed. And then now now they're showing her at all the games in Seoul going like this every time he, hmm. he got, got a hit. She was down there with some of her friends. This, You know, this just little small little Japanese girl who's apparently his uh, wife, but we didn't really, we never knew about her either. She's a basketball player. No, she can't be a basketball player. She's, she's a basketball player. I saw her on Twitter. <laughs> she's a, no, she's not that small, but she's a basketball player. I, I think this was I an attempt. If that's a fall guy too. I wonder. That's what I'm saying. I think this guy. was an attempt to, to take our attention. Like they knew that this was coming Yes. And they were hoping that we wouldn't find out. The problem is, 
it it's very clear this came from the the feds so once the feds get involved you're pretty much screwed yeah if the feds are in on it uh he's uh he's he's in he's in trouble and uh uh, we also had a, I saw one guy got on Twitter that he's going to have to like uh, uh, decide to play basketball for a year or just go to another sport for a year. <laughs> like, like a mental Jordan. health break. Go yeah, play. Like, uh, like, go uh, Jordan. Jordan. Like Jordan did. Yeah. Buy the team bus and go play a G yep. League basketball team or something. Like yeah. That. Well, that's what the thing that like, how is baseball going to reconcile? I mean, they've spent the last like, three and a half decades telling Pete Rose, you yes. go stand in the corner over here, right? And and yeah. by the way, in the last five or ten years, it's 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 DraftKings and FanDuel yes. and ESPN Bet and all these things. And this is the face of your sport. Yes. How do you reckon if, if if it was found that he was gambling on Angels games last year, mm-hmm. let's say. Yeah. What do you do with him? I you you know I throw him out, you know. Forever? You? Like do you ban the face Shoot of baseball? Joe? Shoeless Joe, know. man. That's a little uh, bit yeah. different a hundred years that ago. That was DraftKings. 1991 <laughs> series sponsored by DraftKings. Now let's go <laughs> Joe Buck. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean, That's four or five years. Bookmaking. Yeah, four or five years. Uh, maybe Rudy Gobert was right. You know, like this. They're all, uh, you know, everything's fixed. But that wouldn't, you know what would be great is if the Dodgers the super team of all they have compiled the they have compiled the greatest super team in the history of baseball yeah uh and yamamoto can't pitch and the other guys get thrown out of the game that would kind of uh, throw them off their uh, throw them off their pegs a little wouldn't it Gosh, wow can you imagine yeah it's I'm, uh, Dave, Dave Roberts, uh, I watched a little, of the, I got up and watched a little of last night's game, this morning's game, and uh, he looked a little ill in the, in the dugout uh, with uh, this going on, and Otani, of course, played. And uh, This but, is all yeah. just such classic, and I like, I'm not blaming Rob Manfred for all of this, no, but it's I'm such not. classic, okay, here we go. We're all excited for the 2024 season. Mm-hmm. By the way, the Cy Young Award, the best pitcher maybe in baseball, Per inning is still yes, a free agent as of like 48 job. hours. He finally signs with the Giants. But here we go. We're going to roll out the season. Uh, the game starts at like 2 o'clock in the morning, and the best player is being investigated by the feds. So, and all right. They, uh, I was listening to the oh, – I, I watched most of the opener. I got up at 5 in the morning and watched it yesterday. And they had Manfred on, and he sounded like – He'd been beaten up. I don't know. He did not sound you, you know, excited. So he had to know this was coming through. He had to know this was going to be popped here in the next uh, few days because he did not. Uh, he didn't sound like this euphoric guy about how great of shape the, the game was in. So yeah, but what a kick! What a kick in the shins, man! It's unbelievable. I think we're about to have Otani having a setback in Tommy John and him being shut down for about a month. Yes. Yep. yep. He's going to disappear true. for a month. But they, you know, the it, 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 the Dodgers have they kind of this is this all coming from the Otani camp that that we're blaming the. Uh, the uh, interpreter, or I know they fired him, but are the Dodgers releasing any statements on this or not? I, they, I don't know I that. Mean, I don't. I don't know that they've. I'll Google it again, but like I don't think yeah, they I have anything other than. I thought. I thought it sounded like. Now I, I heard the interview with the uh, Trisha Thompson. Is it the yeah. hot the, the reporter Trisha Thompson? It. And she was, she was saying, this is what they've told us but because uh, we were just about to break this huge story and this is what they told us but her her level of skepticism about what she was being told was extremely high yeah. too so so here's uh, the lengthy statement from the dodgers all right mm-hmm. settle in here everyone mm-hmm. the dodgers are aware of media reports and are gathering information the team can confirm that the interpreter has been terminated the team has no further comment. <laughs> and he was in the dugout yesterday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were chumming oh, it up. I yeah, know. Were, he was like, hey, show hey. <laughs> they were the biggest buddy. Did they had to know it was coming, didn't they? The Otani, they because yes. they'd already interviewed him. Yeah. Yeah, the interpreter sat 
sat down with uh for the with that Trisha Thompson for what a, a week ago or more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, yeah, it was it's uh it it just came out of nowhere, and uh, I mean uh, they were they were flabbergasted yesterday on the uh, on the broadcast. They didn't know what to do, but uh, way to go. This will take the attention away from the Twins' rotten pitching staff, though, so that's good. Yes, thank God that the national media spotlight has been shifted away shifted, from yeah, Anthony yeah. DiSclefani's uh, elbow you, problems, right? By the way, did you see who got the final out for the Dodgers in the 15-run game? It was uh, the other Varland. Yeah. Gus Varland, who's, uh, who they, I think, claimed as a he got claimed away from them as a rule five by the brewers and they brought mm. him back and they got to put him on waivers so they went through about eight pitchers yesterday and finally gus had to come in and get the last out as they gave up 15 runs but uh yeah it's uh it, it's it's a phenomenal story and really the way sports have tied their life to gambling is isn't isn't this this aren't aren't they getting what they asked for here oh yeah and a lot of other things and we we were penalizing iowa football players because they went to the casino and i yeah. mean it's uh if you if your whole thing is taking all this grant draft kings and field fan duel money and that's your and then we, we, your future of the game is me sitting in the stands on my cell phone, ready, ready to bet whether the next pitch is a strike or a ball. Isn't isn't this <laughs> just what get, the, get that with? dopamine hit? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's it's hard to continue to draw a hard line stance with your players, with the officials, and yes. say, hey. We remain steadfast that this that the players are on the up and up and the officials are on the up and up <laughs> yeah. while building an empire of nine yes. figure partnerships with yes. sports books and online fantasy sites. It's yeah, it's uh, it's it's amazing. The the sports world in general has been so turned on its head the last two or three years. It's incredible. NIL, I read a story yesterday, NIL is going to ruin Florida high school football. They are used they, in Florida and 30 other states, NIL is legal for high school players. That's and hilarious. Florida, really? The 14-year-olds? Florida, Florida <laughs> high school football, there's this, this column like a, like a reputable guy right that it's all over for florida high school football because you know bell glade which had these great teams well they don't have any money there bell we're gonna go get bell glade's players you know it's uh i mean the minnesota i don't know what the law is here but the old the law about uh transferring you know that you can't you, you know the private schools can bring in transfers but uh uh, you you know they got it so you got to be in the school district as a freshman as your as your family has to move. Yes. Well, that's that's gonna blow up. That's gonna blow up. You're gonna be back to the you know having all star teams and I don't know. Does you in hockey you right now, Pat? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tonka can, was an all-star team. You can thank my high school, St. Paul Central, for starting that when Angel Robinson jumped ship from Johnson to Central in 2007, <laughs> and they had an undefeated season and when won the state tournament, didn't lose a single game. That's when the first real transfer things started in MSHL in like 2007. Yeah, and then they tried to. Then they tried to. Well, heck, Hopkins back. <laughs> Novak back in the was day. Kenny Novak. Kenny Novak's junior still mad at me 30 years later because I wrote they're the only team that has to introduce the hometown when they uh, when they uh, <laughs> when they introduce the starting lineups in high school. Team. I was still in St. Paul, so that was before '88, you know. So uh, and uh, Kenny didn't take that very well, but you know because. <laughs> You know, you used to some college basketball game, they'd say, from Battle Creek, Michigan, you know, something. So I said they had to do that for Hopkins basketball back then. So that was way back when. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's incredible the way, the way it's opened up. I mean, P.J. Fleck told us yesterday he won't have a 
spring game because he doesn't want I guess he doesn't want Harbaugh's guy there scouting the spring game to see what the he said. We want, yeah, we want to, we want to keep everything we do in house. In house, yeah, yeah. We don't want the opponent. We don't want the opposing team to know that we're going to run the ball fifty-seven times every game. Yeah, we don't want. They want. They don't want us to know who's. We don't want anybody to know who's playing, which makes it a little hard to promote your team, doesn't it? I I can't wait till uh, the reporters start saying. You know, here's the opener. We don't have any idea who's going to play. You know, they're playing. We don't know who the quarterback is. We don't know who, uh, you know, who's who's the starting lineup. They're not going to give out a starting lineup probably. For They don't do a depth chart. They no. they have not done a depth chart for years with yeah. DJ. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a little paranoid. How'd that paranoia do for you last year? Well, it got you a raise, I guess. What the hell you want? Well, the, the over-under cool, for this cool year is, is four and a half. It's right now. There's yeah, there's some sports books that say four and a half. They're not going to be that bad, though. I don't think so. First of all, but but we still we still are fostering the lie that we we grabbed him out of the clutches of UCLA and brought him back because uh, he was you know he was gone. He was out the door if we didn't do something. Yeah. So uh, you know we're still propagating that lie, but. Uh, that UCLA, I mean, UCLA comes here. They, UCLA is bad. They should beat them. And, you know, just because their names, and now they got to go out and play Southern Cal or get beat. The schedule's, you know, tough, but not brutal. And we Kelly still have, was making less than PJ. This is what I don't understand. They don't pay. Yeah, no, no, they don't. And uh, they ended up, they don't pay and they don't have any NIL. They're, they don't have a dinky town collective, apparently. They don't have anything out there. So they're, you know, they're, it's a bad situation, apparently. But, hey, Pat, yeah. who's who's going further this weekend? Dan Munson or Richard Pitino? I, I know. Who's Munson got? I don't think he can win a game. They're uh, a 15 Pitino. seed, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, I, don't, I don't think they can win a game. But New Mexico could win a game. I think they're, they're, they got talent. They just, Jackson, they just had they a bad. Arizona. They, oh, no, they Long, Long Beach, Beach, Beach State versus Arizona. Arizona. That'll Arizona. be a tough yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that'll be 30. But, uh, the uh, you know, they were really good in New Mexico. And then February, they had a lousy February, and they lost a home game to Air Force, which won two games in the conference. And that they kind of bottomed out. But they, you know, they were – Rated for a minute there for a while, so they they got a chance to win, I would think. Uh, but I don't know. My uh, my fervor is for the state for the NCAA basketball tournament. I didn't even fill out a bracket. I don't. I, wow, I wow out you're that bracket. you're that down on it. You don't even I'm five years. No, I I mean I watch when I'm turning it on, but I'm not sitting on the couch watching a bag, college basketball all day long. I'll just see what the scores are. Okay. So. Well. Anyway, but yeah. hey, it's uh, we we gotta we got we gotta go to play uh, mighty Indiana State in the uh, NIT though, right? We got the Indiana Indiana refused to play in the tournament because they didn't want to go down and get their ass kicked by Indiana State, which is of all the teams that got ha- uh, screwed by the committee, they might have been the worst. They were twenty eight in net or something. Yeah, they were like 29, 29 in the Ken Palm, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they uh, they didn't take them, which is uh, kind of uh, kind of ridiculous, to say the least. I would say, I you know, know what, be relevant more than once since 1978, and we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Indiana State, string together two years in a row. That's my request. Yeah, uh, well, we had the, we, we had the, the uh, scheduling scandal in uh, high school basketball uh, yesterday. The uh, Stewartville coach. Very upset that his team had to play Stewartville. I mean, Stewartville had to play Totino Grace, who was the one seed, because he thought they should have been the three seed, except three of the teams in the tournament who had seeded ahead of them already had beaten them, you know, during the season <laughs> when they played each other. So uh, That sends a great message to your team when you're openly yeah. complaining about having That's, to play a certain opponent. Yeah. In the- <laughs> Come on, buddy. Uh, you know, it's, it's the high school basketball tournament back in the – <laughs> Back until 15 years ago, they just shuffled it up every year. You never know who you were going to play, right? They didn't start seeding until 
uh, lately, but it, the, the, you know, way to take the loss is, uh, you know, but then again, yeah. maybe you'll have NIL next year in Minnesota for the high schools and you can get yourself some better players. You can buy a couple of players from Tino Grace, then you'll be better off. <laughs> there you know. go. Exactly. We need <laughs> trades next. That's what yeah. we need. We need what? trades in college. We should have a trade school. deadline. A trade, <laughs> yeah. deadline, trade would deadline would be great. You can just deal a kid. Off-season mm -hmm. free agent week. You know, we could do some re reckless speculation for the transfer portal. It'd be great. But what what is really bad is, you know, and I'm, you know, they're going to go out and make their money, and that's fine. But you cannot finish this basketball season with the Gophers saying things are looking up. You have no idea. You have no idea if Christie's going to stay. You have no idea if Payne's going to stay. You have, you know, you're going to lose. You don't, you don't know who's coming Dawson back. Dawson Garcia might leave. Yeah, he might leave. I mean, he he's might, might, he might, but he might leave. He might do what Battle did. You know, Battle said, "I, I got to get paid once before I'm done playing college basketball." So he went to Ohio State. Yep. And uh, Garcia might do that too. And what? You know, it's. Uh, I, I, I would, uh, I would hate to be a coach of a low, mediocre program right now, because they'll come and uh, they'll come and steal your guys. I was down in Mankato yesterday and. Uh, they got, they, they don't have much going, or a couple of days ago, they don't have much going as far as NI, but they got a little NI, they got a few guys making NIL money in, uh, on their, to get, keep from losing them on their football team and their basketball team and stuff. They got, they, they have to get it. And, uh, you know, they got a hard enough time just financing a 10 and $11 million sports budget down there. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, interesting times, but this Otani story is really hard to get your arms around because you don't know how much to overreact to it. But I think it's as you know, Phil, it's phenomenal. It's it's the yeah. blow this could be to, well, to baseball is just amazing. I saw someone, you know, of course, there's a lot of people on their high horses right now on social media and on the internet. And, and one of them I saw this morning was if this was a lesser player than Otani, they would be immediately suspended. No. Yeah. That, well, that yeah, like, when you are the face of baseball, the yeah. league is going to spend a couple extra minutes trying to figure out what the hell do we do here going forward? Yeah. And if it wasn't Otani, we might not have ever found out too, but right, if yeah. he wasn't, if he wasn't, uh, but if you're four and a half million in the hole, I don't care how much money you got. You're compulsive, <laughs> you know. You're you you you're compulsive. This is so, why you uh, defer most of the payments. So you you're, you're that's it's, right. it's, it's responsible. You're protecting yourself in the. Short yeah, I term. heard people saying, "Well, this where's he getting the money? Because he deferred it. He's got a sponsorships worth about thirty. <laughs> yeah, he's a year, he's you know, fine. He's, but what he's, moron is transferring the money with his name on the transfer? That that's the question. Like, you, if you're uh, gonna do this, be smart. Have buddies you, that know how to circumvent. Yes, you've been in uh, you've been in the press box though when the uh, Japanese baseball media is in attendance for like a minor no, yeah. or somebody. Can you imagine <laughs> what the Dodgers are trying to control here? With uh, they've got to have forty Japanese reporters traveling with them, not to mention the oh, the whole Soul media and coming back. Oh. Chaos, baby. The Dodgers are here, by the way. Uh, what Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, April. like the first yeah. week of the season. Almost. Yeah, well, it's nice and yeah. chilly. Out. Yeah, nice and scheduled. We're gonna get snow tomorrow, right? Just in time tonight. Today. Yeah, tonight, tonight and Sunday, oh, I, right? We're still supposed to get dumped uh -huh. on. Uh -huh. I just, uh, you guys don't need any. Uh, any? You don't know anybody who needs any sixteen by twenty five. Uh, Furnace filters, do you? Or sixteen by twenty furnace filters? Well, uh, we'll check the oh, YouTube my, comments. My wife, uh, my wife uh, ordered uh, about uh, twenty of those, but they're the wrong size, so we have. Oh, so I, I've have. done that. But yeah, we'll, here, uh, we'll here's check the YouTube Amazon. Comments. No, here's Amazon. No, we had to get the new size yesterday. Last night she ordered them at nine four a.m. I pick up the paper and they're on the steps. It's great. Up, Isn't that amazing? How yeah, are you going to compete with that, boys? You know, it's I crazy. I literally I, just yeah. we, we ran out of dog treat this morning. I just no. ordered dog treats <laughs> no that problem. will be here at noon for <laughs> little mine. And that's long. Incredible. That's a long way. I know. It's, it's crazy. Incredible. I ran out of shampoo on Wednesday and I ordered it it's here today. It's beautiful. God Barcelona. bless America. God bless yeah. America. Just use By the way, I was downtown, dead downtown Minneapolis yesterday. 
that the new restaurant by the for me, not new Ponzano or something. Oh, Ponzano. God love that place. And my brother in law picked up the tab, and there was like chaos in there. And I had to stop at Hoyts to see some coaches, and Hoyts was full. And uh, you know, dead, Pat. Dead Tom's down. It's dead though. It's dead. No one's down there. Yeah. Nobody's down there. It's too crowded. As Yogi it's too Bear crowded. Said, <laughs> nobody's going down there anymore. It's too crowded. <laughs> <laughs> that's downtown Minneapolis right now. Yep. That's what I said. Uh, it, uh, that's what I said about the traffic in uh, Fort Myers. I said Fort Myers. Nobody goes to Fort Myers and Naples too much anymore. There's too much traffic. You know. So, <laughs> that's so true. Anyway. So, all, all right. Well, well, we'll this, see what uh, happens, and we'll. Story, this story ain't going away, baby. This one is not going away. No, it is not. All right, Pat, we'll talk again tomorrow. All right, see you. Bye. There he is, Royce Unchained here on Score North.